Hello, today I will tell you about working with plugins in Ceph Sharp. First of all, we need to create a WPF project with an x86 or x64 configuration and reference the Ceph Sharp library via Nugget. You can find detailed instructions in our previous tutorials. Our next step is the main window markup. Create two column definitions in the root grid. Add a stack panel with vertical orientation to the root grid and place it in the left column. Add a stack panel with horizontal orientation to the outer stack panel. Add a checkbox named View PDF to the inner stack panel. This checkbox will be used for changing the state of the PDF Viewer plugin. Add a button named Refresh to the inner stack panel and create a click event handler. Add a list box named Plugins List Box to the outer stack panel. This list box will be used to display the list of the available plugins. Finally, add the doc panel, set its name, and set the last child filled property to true. This panel will contain the Chromium web browser component. Now we need to implement the behavior. Create the request context handler class inherited from the iRequestContextHandler interface and generate the method stubs. Add the bool field named display PDF. Go to the get cookie manager method. This method is not necessary for us right now, so just return the null value. Go to the on before plugin load method. This method defines whether the specified plugin should be loaded or disabled. Check if the current plugin name contains PDF. If yes, set the plugin policy value to allow if the display PDF value is true. Otherwise, set it to disable. This method should return true if we need to use the specified plugin policy and false for using the default plugin policy. Go to the main window class. Define the browser view field of the Chromium web browser type. Define the initialize browser method and go inside it. Every time we change the plugin policies, we need to reinitialize the browser. So first of all, we need to dispose of the old browser. Then create the context handler variable. Set its display PDF property value accordingly to the view PDF checkbox state. Create the new browser. Set its request context property value to the new instance of the request context class. Create such an instance using the previously created context handler. Load the sample PDF file to the browser and add the browser to the doc panel. This method should be called after the initialize component method in the main window constructor. Now let's display the list of the available plugins. Create the async display plugins method. Inside this method, get the plugins list using the async static get plugins method of the Ceph class.
Then pass the names of the plugins to the list box item source. Call this method at the end of the main window constructor. Finally, call the initialize browser method from the refresh button click handler. Also, let's check the ViewPDF checkbox by default. Now you can build and launch your application. You can see that by default the PDF file is displayed. Also, the list of the available plugins is in the left side of the window. If we uncheck the checkbox and press the refresh button, Cephsharp is reloaded and the PDF file is not displayed. Thanks for watching!